Hey. Hey, can you hear me? What's See no doing? evil, hear no evil, and don't fucking speak or say anything. Alright? What's going on? What is Am I the only on? voice here? Um, got any of the news today? Yeah. Shall we have a listen to the news? Why not? I'm the Irish Taxi Driver. This, my friends, is the BBC Sucks of Cox News. We got one story for you today. One fucking story. And it's about fucking George Osborne. <laughs> George Osborne. George fucking Osborne. The heir to the Baroncy Taylor. A multi, multi millionaire who's got his trust fund set abroad in a fucking tax haven. He is the Chancellor of the Exchequer. He puts donuts on his dinkle <laughs> and he gets them to eat them off. What kind of man is that? What kind of man is that? Today he said we have agreed seven, seven, seven departments cut. We'll be cutting the elderly, the young, the disabled. We'll be cutting fucking, we'll be, we'll be destituting people. We'll be moving people out onto the fucking streets. Where the, where we will send the police, the fucking pigs, to go and steal the homeless food and their blankets. They've already done that, you know. To who? Homeless people. Whereabouts? Down on Stole the, took their um, sleeping bags off them and the food off them. And the tents and stuff? Yeah. Oh. Right, do you, do you remember the film, They Live? Oh yeah, yeah, we spoke they, about that before, didn't we? They did exactly the same in that. It's almost like they make a movie and show us what they've got planned for the future. Oh, I fancy that. Well, if you haven't seen They Live, I suggest you watch it. I think it's available on YouTube. It's well worth having a yeah, look. Yeah, I've definitely I've seen the film, yeah. yeah Your yeah, recommendation, yeah. a few other uh, yeah. people have seen it as well. Right, let's get back to the news. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get back to the news. We need to cut, but you see, he ain't, he ain't cutting. The MPs ain't getting cut. The MPs, the fucking MPs, they want a fucking pay rise. They want thousands and thousands of fucking pounds more. That's just on their pay. They got, they, 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 they got money for plasma TVs, for fucking curtains, for fucking 39 pound fucking, but they want to, they want to hit the fucking vulnerable. They want to cut the vulnerable. The, the only problem I see here is they've got to get the money from somewhere, so, you know. But where does money come from originally? Don't they just magic it out of thin air? No, they chop down trees. Oh, of course. Well, 3% of it's chopped down trees, that is. And then they colour it with vegetable colours. Yeah, colours. Yeah, yeah. So that's where money comes from. So you can just grow money. Well, they just print it, don't they? And then print it, yeah. yeah. So it's been stolen from us. Yeah, yeah. They print it and then they steal it from us. And no, then no, you're, no. You're, you're they, forced they, to they, work. they then force us to use their money. Their barter system. Hmm. And if you actually look at it, it does say it's, it's owned, not by us. So we actually Or on use behalf of the, the, the bank, the bank and without the corp England. the corporation. It's only a promissory note. Mm. But we know about Lord Denning and promissory notes. Yes, I know, I yes, yes. I wouldn't play around with Although that. Although some do try and say that's... The, 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 the classic one is, that's not what he meant. Ah, of course. <laughs> promissory notes are to be treated as cash. That's not what he meant. Okay. So what did he mean? <laughs> <laughs> the ideological fucking austerity that doesn't fucking exist. Uh, the deceit on the they people. They don't want to cut the fucking royals. The Queen, she's getting a six million pound fucking pay rise. How the fuck is that right? A multi, multi billion fucking heir. Queen's getting a pay rise. Six million quid. But I, I've, I've got to stop him there because he said she's a multi-billionaire. She's actually a trillionaire. Oh, right. I uh, heard that she was the richest woman in the world. Well, as a, I've been doing some research and I, I'm pretty close to being able to prove that the Queen actually owns BP. Really? The company that uh, kills oh, all those animals You heard it America. here first. Yes. The Queen owns British Petroleum. Yes, yes. And all their uh, activities in Africa. Killing all those poor, vulnerable people and chopping up all their land. They're lands. saving them. They say they're not killing them. Where'd you get that from? <laughs> okay, they might be moving them to somewhere where they can't survive, but you know they, they need them, to be moved. Saving them from being poisoned by the crap that they're getting from the ground. Yeah, yeah. And that kills all the fish and uh, all the animals, and they chop all the trees down. Well, they need the trees for the 
paper for the print them on it. Oh, of course, yeah, I forgot about that. I mean, it's does, got to it doesn't matter the trees actually soak up the carbon dioxide and release oxygen. That's that's by the by. The world's lungs. Yes. No, no, chop those down and use them as money. Well, yeah, I mean, we don't need to breathe, do we? <laughs> <laughs> the Queen needs to breathe, though. She's not a space alien. She's not a reptilian, nine foot reptilian lizard, is she? Well, I've not seen a change into it yet. No shape shifting. Not yet, but mm. she certainly. Go on, Queenie. It doesn't look nice. It's a little show. Yeah, yeah, that would be fun. Wouldn't it? <laughs> that would be funny, yeah. <laughs> and David Icke would be your best friend. Oh. <laughs> One of the richest people in the fucking world. Balmoral, Sandringham, Buckingham Palace, Windsor fucking Castle, billion pound fucking hat. Someone said to me she was on the telly and they were doing a programme about horses and she said, I've got an old telly. I've got an old telly because I'm frugal. I'm thrifty with my... Fucking frugal! Frugal. <laughs> frugal. Oh, God. It, it, Who? <laughs> dog, dog. Oh, sorry, yeah. Uh, if, if, um... If she has a telly at all, which I absolutely doubt, because televisions are only used to brainwash the masses. Programming anybody? Well, that's what they're called, isn't it? Yeah! It's just that the masses don't see it. No, let's watch EastEnders. <laughs> such and such is going to kill such and such again. Oh, it must be Christmas. Oh, wow, right. such a happy programme. Oh, we could always switch over to Coronation Street, where such and such is going to kill such and such. Oh, it must be Christmas. <laughs> Christmas every week, isn't it? And, uh... So Soap land. land. <laughs> <laughs> Has anybody seen our new... We'll talk about it later. <laughs> you fuck... What? Is that a wind-up? Is that some sort of wind-up? That she's got some, 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 some kind of thrifty old fucking woman? She is a fucking... She is a parasitic fucking leech. The entire royal family. They have got fucking billions. And they still need more. She was claiming, she was claiming for a heating allowance. You're Can you joking. imagine that? Just think about that in your fucking on a bit. The Queen of England was claiming for a fucking, for a few Cold heating allowances. in Buckingham allowance. Palace, for is fucking it? fucking Palace. <laughs> You've got bedroom tax. It must have about 300 bedrooms. <laughs> well, the thing is, she's claiming for a heating allowance. She hasn't even got a metre in the properties. Unbelievable. Oh, it takes a piss. Unbelievable. And if anything, she should be giving all that money back to us because of the bedroom tax. Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. There we go. I mean, she's the biggest benefit scrounger on the planet. Oh, most definitely. Well, Six million years. Just in front of Poor Cameron rights. and as Osborne and the rest of them. Oh, and all their offshore it, stuff. Isn't it strange how, I think you were saying earlier, how they, 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 the uh, higher tax bracket's 150k and Cameron's on 144 or something like that. Just yeah, underneath just, the higher just, just tax below. Just, just below. On your, just, on your main job. It's just a coincidence. Nothing going on here. Move along. These are not the druids you're looking for. The druids you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> Zero. She's got more fucking empty bedrooms she could she could fucking house half of fucking london <laughs> in her fucking palaces and then you got the bankers you see george osborne he ain't fucking saying anything about cutting bankers he's been giving bankers fucking billions mate they've been they are getting the fucking pretty presses like that with that fucking money they've been fucking printing presses they've been fucking getting now they're gonna get mark carney to the fucking goldman sachs they got me fucking lying down on fucking pants. The pants have been fucking flying off. And the bankers have been there fucking like that. Counting all the fucking money. Another pony for me daughter. Another fucking Bentley for me son. <laughs> fucking holidays. Fucking ski. That's what's going on, isn't it? Crystal fucking chandeliers. You see, they ain't fucking touched. They're certainly not touched. Well, <laughs> but you notice that Cameron's gone off on holiday. He's gone to Ibiza. Yeah, to nice place, large it? it up. Oh, I can imagine him going through the discos and taking all the stuff that they take out there. The nudist and... beaches, the drugs, uh, the women. Of course, take his it... wife. Well, he, if he, he does, knows. she can stay behind. He, you know, he can always go and do his own bit corner. Large it up, Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have a really nice vibe, man, in Ibiza. <laughs> <laughs> Large enough. Oh, a bit dear. like Johnny Osborne and his Coca Cola. We well, see with Coke. I mean, Coke is bad for you at the end of the day. There's no it, 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 two ways about it. Coke's bad for you. But it don't kill cancer, does it? No. But we do know something that does, don't we? Hmm. Have you ever seen the film run from the Cure? 
I yes. only watched it the other day. In fact, absolutely fantastic. This man called Ricky Simpson. I, I, I was actually on Dark City Radio on, I think it was Sunday night when Rick Simpson was on. I was on a chat with him and it's very interesting. Uh, more interesting was the stuff that we were talking about off air, actually, but obviously that wasn't broadcastable just then. Hmm. Shall we get back to the news? Yeah. The private fucking companies, your, your, your Google and your Amazon and your Facebook and your Apple, Fucking billions and billions and bi Amazon took seven billion and didn't pay any tax. There is no fucking, there's no... Didn't pay any tax. Now, I'd like to say congratulations to anybody that doesn't pay any tax at all. We called the tax office and there's yes. no actual law which says anybody has to pay tax. So Vodafone, don't bother paying your tax. Topshop, don't pay your tax. It's perfectly fair. And who was the other one? Amazon and Google and all the rest of them. But wait, wait, wait. If they're not paying the tax, then nobody, nobody should. No, nobody should do. I, I mean, in fact, if we make a phone call to Google or Amazon and ask them how they actually got away without paying tax, because I like to shake their hand. We could share it with everyone. Yeah. No, we can all not pay tax. But you know what the government's going to say now, don't you, if you don't pay tax? Because some people are, oh. are, are calling up HMRC <laughs> and saying, well, if you use this money to murder men, men women and children in other countries like Iraq and Afghanistan... You're a terrorist. You're a terrorist. Terrorist. Right, what about our heroes? Mind you, when we did call them up, they did refer us to the, uh, what was it, the Finance Act 2009. Finance Act 2009. Well, I mean, I, I've actually had a look through it. I haven't seen anywhere in there where it says mm. men or women have to pay tax. Me too. But let's just say, for instance, that somewhere we missed it. 2009 was only four years ago. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So... If that's what they're referring to as to why we should pay tax, yeah, why were we paying tax before that? Yeah, very, very good point. Good point. Why is anybody paying any tax at all? If you know how money's made, they chop down the trees and use the ink from flowers and for colour, and and then there's no trees left, and then the Queen moves BP in. <laughs> <laughs> What's on the rest of the news? Tax for them. There's no banking reforms. You couldn't make it up, could you? Welfare reforms. You do that in your, you do that maths in your nuts. Why is that? Why is he giving fucking tax cuts to the fucking rich? Why is he feeding fucking bankers power notes so they can go and gamble the fucking gambling and go and spunk it up in the city? Why are they cutting? Why, are they, why are they hitting the most vulnerable, the disabled, the sick? They got him here, Nazi fucking Smith! Is anybody going to do anything about the these psychopaths? You should be going to for help, for <laughs> compassion, that, 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 that you're suffering, that you're ill, that you're having a heart attack, you got cancer, you're fucking vulnerable. You have Rick to Simpson. go to that nutter, and he's employing that to us. Because see, this fucking government, they're, 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 the money ain't going, we're spending more. We're spending more. We're spending more. We've got to spend more because they keep taking more, so they have to spend it. Now, if you actually organised your year's uh, finances like that, yeah. you'd be bankrupt. Oh, yeah. But the government seem to think that they take everything and they spend it. In fact, they have to spend everything, otherwise they get less the next year. But they actually spend more, that they borrow it from the Bank of England, who magic it out of thin air. So if they've actually got it, or they desire it, they just have, if they didn't have it, they wouldn't be able to spend it, would they? Well, you say the Bank of England, well, you've got to remember that only 3% of the actual currency, currency strange that circulation. word, currency, 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 they get currency in the sea. It's all yeah. electricity and water. Feels a little bit like that in court, doesn't so, it? So, there's only 3% actual paper and coin is money yeah the other 97 percent is digital yeah well beep 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 yeah. beep, 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 beep beep there you go magic yourself some money beep, nothing, beep, beep. and more nothings add lots of nothings to it they could do that but they'd only spend it if we give it to them or if they give it to themselves they spend yeah, lots yeah. of these nothings well, well, and nons. well what, what what they what they realized was that we just waste it on things like food and uh, uh, heating uh, so they need to do things like for disabled yeah people. they need to buy some uh Military, we bought those new aircraft, don't we? It's hundred million pounds each. Each, yeah. That was nice, nice deal. That fifty of them. Fifty. Oh, so, I mean, I, I, I'm sure you, if it'd been you buying them, you'd have asked for some sort of discount. Oh yeah. But then again, you forget they're all <clears throat> in the same club. They're buying it off each other, so they're all circulating the money amongst themselves. So they go to the highest bidder first. Yeah. Right, which is probably one of their mates. Oh, so uh, definitely. I was reading in a book by the anti-terrorist. I can't, I can't remember if it was the first book. He was probably standing under, under freedom, the second book, and it's a fantastic read. The Anti-Terrorist Handbook, 
and the anti-terrorist standing under freedom. I think the second book, well, they're both brilliant, the second book is even better. And I actually sent um, anti-terrorist a, a message asking him where he got this information on corporations, because apparently a corporation in their contract, contracts, a deception which can be withdrawn at any time, it says that they write into this contract that on all expenditure they make 8%. Mm, Has right. anybody got any copies of corporation contracts where it actually says that they, they give themselves 8%? Where did they get this 8% from? The government? I remember seeing, I can't exactly remember where it was, but there was somewhere where there's some, there was some big company and they were going to get 8% for something. So yeah. it, it does sound like it is plausible that this 8% could be correct. The story is about um, telegraph poles. There's one company, say Mr Smith's telegraph pole company, that sells them for £150. And then there's Mr Jones, who sells them at hundred pounds? Who would you go to first? You go uh, for the hundred pound ones. Don't forget, ones, Mr. You? Salon that sells them at three hundred. That's even more expensive. Oh. So, who do you think the government would go to? We'll go to Mr. Salon, of course, the most expensive ones. Why? Because they make eight percent on all expenditures. Oh, so they go for the most expensive because they're actually making more they money. They make more money, yeah. And it's your money and our money they take. But as Salon was saying, if they haven't actually got any money to spend, and we stop the magic in it out of thin air. We stopped them chopping the trees down and ruining the planet. The planet survived all this long time. Billions of years, you know. It's gone through ice ages, two second, two world wars. It's, it's had some famine, hot times as well. We used to grow plagues. grapes in, in, in the UK, you know. Yeah, and it's still here. It's still all right. So, that, I guess that could be like a... Your climate. carbon fucking footprint! <laughs> You're global. You're doing global warming, could, all of you. Exactly. That's part of the co global warming or climate change. Now, this is this is the point that gets me. Now, when they first came out with it, it was global warming, mm -hmm. and when everybody realised it wasn't actually getting warmer, it was getting colder. Cold. They changed it to climate change. Climate Do you know why? Because that way, whether it gets hot or cold, it's still your fault. <laughs> <laughs> Plan. <laughs> it's all your fault. Your fucking fault. Why? Why?